It's DDK and I'm back today with another video. Huge shout out to you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. Guess what, baby? I'm back yet again with another new app. Today we're going to try GoShare. It's my first time doing it, so I don't know what to do, but we are going to TJ Maxx and we're going to pick up a couch. Now, I know you wonder, how are we going to pick up this couch in this car? We are not actually going to pick up the couch in this car. It's going to be another person there. We're going to put the couch in their vehicle and I'm just coming on to help, baby. Again, we're picking up from TJ Maxx, we're picking up a couch, and the distance from TJ Maxx to the person's house is actually 1.51 miles and it's going to take us four minutes to drive there. Guess how much you got to receive, baby? $41.55, enough money to pay the rent. I'm telling you guys the good, bad, and the ugly, and I'm also going to give you guys a lot of information on GoShare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ads. We're on our way to TJ Maxx right now, so we can get to this bag. Let's go. So we are here, we're gonna hit arrive. Slide when you arrive, slide. Dang, slide? So we are here, baby. Guess what? I talked to the dude early before I came here. We are actually early. He said he's gonna be here at 10.30. We didn't have to be here until 11 o'clock to pick up the couch, baby. But we're here anyway, and I'm gonna give him a call and see how far he is away or what we're supposed to do. I don't know if I'm about to say the front of the store, back of the store, I don't know. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? I have a quick question for you. Am I supposed yeah. to go to the front or the back of the store? This is my first time actually doing it, so I'm not sure. I would come to the front. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm already parked up front. I'm, I'm not out in the parking lot, but I'm coming again. Um, okay. Yeah, just come out front. I think we'll load out front. Okay, that sounds great. I'll see you soon. It's over. So as you guys can see, wop, we got the couch, baby. We put that couch in that job, baby. We are actually on our way to the customer's house right now, and we're only three minutes away, one mile. So honestly, it was pretty sweet. They brought the couch out, we slid. He be driving this job, he, he be getting busy. And I guess what else? I just found out about another app too. He just put me on, baby. That's why you gotta talk to people if they getting busy. But we are on our way to the customer house, and I'm not gonna take my camera inside or anything like that because I don't want the customer to be alarmed or anything. So my business partner is gonna pretty much record exactly what she can to record while we recording, while we getting this money, baby. I hope you guys are doing this video. We already getting busy, and I'm glad you guys are with me. Let's go. Go share. Let's talk about it. As you guys can see, we just went out there and got busy. We made $41.55 in just about 13 minutes. That includes us loading the couch, driving to the house, and unloading the couch. Now, just so you guys know, he told me how much he got paid and he showed me. He just made $57.79, enough money to pay the rent. Just so you guys know, I know I always get this question all the time. When do you get paid? When do you get paid? When do you get paid? With GoShare, you're gonna get paid in four days. So if you did the job on Monday, you will get paid Friday. Now I'm gonna put up on the screen, wop, right there. If you see a star on your state, then that means they have GoShare in your area. And you might wanna go ahead and sign up, baby. Also, GoShare works with plenty of companies. Some of them are Costco, Tesla, Sharon Williams, Cummings, Pepsi, Bob's Discount Furniture, and as you guys can see, we just went to TJ Maxx to pick up that couch, so they work with them too. Now, we're gonna get into the vehicles, what you guys all been waiting for. Number one, the vehicle that you can use is a car. As you guys can see, we use the car. If you are using a car, SUV, or minivan, you are considered a courier. That's what we both say, we was a courier. With being a courier, you can pick up small parcels, packages, and documents, and you also can be a helper. We were, that's what we did today. We were helpers. And 
as a courier, you will receive up to $51 per hour. The next vehicle is a pickup truck. With a pickup truck, you can receive up to $80 per hour. But just so you know, with the pickup truck, your bed must be at least five feet long. If it is not five feet long, then you out of luck, Chuck. And the next vehicle is a cargo van. With a cargo van, you can receive up to $116 per hour. Now, I'm going to give you guys a description of a cargo van because some people may think they got a cargo van and they don't. Cargo vans are dedicated moving and delivery vehicles with no passenger seats behind the cab. So, this is the driver's seat right here, right? Driver and passenger seat. There could be no seats behind that. If you got a van and you got seats behind that, then it is not considered a cargo van. Also, minivans, SUVs, passenger vans, and compact cargo vans do not have enough cargo space to accept Ghost Shares cargo van projects. So if you have a minivan and all that stuff, that is not considered a cargo van. I'm gonna give you guys five vehicles that are considered a cargo van. A Ford Transit Connect is a cargo van. A Nissan NV200 Compact Cargo is a cargo van. A Ram Pro Master City is a cargo van. Of course, a Mercedes-Benz Metris is a cargo van. And last but not least, a Chevy City Express is also a cargo van. The next vehicle is a box truck. With a box truck, you can receive up to $222 per hour. Now, GoShare accepts a range of box trucks on the platform, commonly between 10 to 26 feet, baby. Just so you guys know, tractor trailers are not currently accepted on the platform, and if you have a box truck that is less than 10 feet, you may apply under a cargo van. So you would not be considered a box truck, you will be a cargo van. Guess what else? Ghost Share does allow rentals. So if you want to go out and rent a cargo van or a box truck, you can use that. But, I said but, you have to be in a rental agreement for at least 30 days. If you're not in a rental agreement for at least 30 days, it's not going to happen, Captain. Now, we're going to get into Ghost Share's requirements. Just so you guys know, Ghost Share is way more lenient than all the other apps, baby. So you ready? Get your pen and pad out. It's time for us to get busy. Number one, you must be at least 18 years of age. Number two, your vehicle must be year 2000 or newer and pass a vehicle inspection. One more thing, no salvaged or rebuilt titles on a vehicle. So if you have a salvaged or rebuilt title, unfortunately, you cannot do go share. Number three, you must pass a background check and a driving history check. So if you got plenty of tickets or you're a felon and all that stuff, I don't know. I don't know if you should sign up, baby. I don't know because I don't know all the criteria they really go off of. Number four, you must have an iPhone or Android phone that is capable of running the latest version of the Go Share Driver app. So if you got an old flip phone, you're gonna have to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. Number five, you must have a checking account to receive direct deposit. Number six. You must be able to speak English. Number seven, you must have a valid driver's license, registration, and insurance in the state you will be driving for GoShare. And last but not least, number eight, you must have minimal state insurance requirements and be compliant with local law. So you gotta have insurance in your car. You can't be riding around with no insurance. Now, reverse back to number two. Number two says you must have a vehicle inspection. With the vehicle inspection, you can do one of two things. You can either take it to a local dealership, Grease Monkey, or like a Jiffy Lube or something like that, and take the vehicle in for them to inspect. You're gonna print the paper out, take it to them, they're gonna inspect the vehicle, you're gonna send it back in, and then you're gonna get them dividends. Or number two. Number two, you can inspect the vehicle yourself. Now, that's exactly what we did. Guess what? If you guys get this video to 1,000 likes in 24 hours, I know y'all can do it, I know y'all can do it. 1,000 likes in 24 hours, we are gonna show you guys how to sign up for GoShare step by step and guess what else? Just cause y'all part of the family. I'm even gonna do the vehicle inspection in the video. So get this video to 1,000 likes. You guys have 24 hours. The time is ticking, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, 
go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads and lock in tomorrow because we're getting back to this bag. Why are we getting back to this bag? Because 2022 is still bad season. We're going to keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK, and I'm on my way.